literally a man asked me for my number. I said no. And he he picked up a brick in front of so many men and was like, what are you going to do? And I told all these men, like, yo, why is this man got a brick on my face? And he's, he's holding a brick. And all these niggas is watching. And nobody does nothing. And he hits me in my face. And then they're all just watching. And they let that nigga get in the car. How is this okay? This is what y'all doing to women? Hey, beautiful people. It's your girl, Maya Davis again. You all, that incident went viral 2023. So it was one of the most viral video where she came out and she was crying. She went to the hospital. She had her face was swollen because a man asked her for a number and she said no. And he hit her with a brick. According to her, he hit her with a brick and men around him couldn't do anything. A man around her couldn't do anything they just kept quiet and this whole thing went viral and got talking you know male and female were talking caused a lot of gender war in 2023 so i think later on there was a rumor that it was all a lie she was just a kid or something but then i saw this particular post a few hours ago today neighbors this is hot you all remember the woman who claimed to have who claimed to have been attacked by a man after she refused to give him a number it turns out it was all a lie according to click to question police police have charged rosa osman 33 with felony theft by deception osman allegedly raised over forty thousand dollars on gofundme by lying to the internet claiming that she was attacked by a man outside a club of houston while other men stood by and watched osman's um, video grand gained millions of views ac across social media across social media platform at the time and sparked um, debates about whether black men protect black women in time of need while everyone was arguing about the situation on social media, police were actively investigating the incident to figure out exactly what happened to Hussman. When she first reported the accident, she told police she believed it was her Uber, Uber driver who attacked her. But she was questioned again. She accused a man named Orland Douglas. In the charging document, police noted that Osman's story changed multiple times. And when she was asked about the conflicting details, she would become irritated and hang up. Osman's friend that was present at the attack told police that the women had gotten into a car with men that she assumed Osman knew. The friend was in the front of Osman. The friend was in the front of was in the front of Osman. I'll take an I'll take that again. The friend was in the front and Osman got in the back seat. The friend said she heard Osman say the man hit her. But she never heard an argument. When they got out of the car, Osman began to record and claimed to be hit with a brick. But the friend told police she never believed the story. After gathering the details, police went to one of the clubs where Osman claimed to attack. Osman claimed the attack happened to view the security cameras. In the video, it was revealed that Osman and a friend were in the car with Douglas and another man outside the club. Minutes later, Osman and Douglas got out of the car and Douglas seemingly hit Osman in the face with a water bottle. Then Douglas and the other men left. Harris County DA's office is requesting a $50,000 bill for Osman. SMH. He hit her with the face with a water bottle. Do you all see the... Did you see how swollen her face was? Or... Yeah. Yeah. With a water bottle, what was in the bottle of the water? This story is not adding up to me. Even though it was a lie, 
how come her face was swollen like that i'm not saying people don't come to internet to just claim something and just you know because this particular video went viral it caused a lot of issues like people were talking about black men black black women this men and women that men don't protect black women like a lot of content on what happened during that time in fact that period was <laughs> If you remember, if you remember, and if you're watching my my video, you know that I actually posted something like that. Black men were reacting. Black men were like, they cannot protect us because we say we don't need protection. We say that we can protect ourselves. Why should they protect us? You know, she went to just her face was what got me interested. Like, who could eat somebody on the face like that because she didn't give you a number? So now all this was a lie because she was not, according to them she was not saying the right thing like she was not saying the same thing over and over again she was just saying different things don't ask her question today she'll say another thing don't ask another question tomorrow so it's looking like a lie but my question is if douglas hits her with just a water bottle on the face how come my face is swollen like that what was in the water bottle so she did a GoFundMe that raised up to like forty thousand dollars, and that's that's another interesting story. But let's see what other people have to say because to me, it's not adding up. Someone says, "Why are people like this? They are real victim out there, of course, because this they are trying to make it look as if these things doesn't happen, because it does. It does happen." I see what you are trying to do, but it's BS. The point is, it doesn't. The point is, it doesn't happen as frequently as you people pretend it does. What she said is nothing with what they said. Like they said, it's real victims out there. She's a real victim. She was hit with a brick. I'm sorry, but this story doesn't make any sense. So apparently, a man hit her with a water bottle. Because look at her face. It was swollen AF. And instead of still arresting the man, they choose to press charges against her. They love to discredit black women. If you see the report, she hits him with an object first and threw the water bottle. She discredited herself when she lied and was found out. She has to be held accountable. The black man was discredited when she had the whole, she had the world believing that she was attacked and no man in sight did anything. Wait, so you were mad at her and she deserved jail time because it was a water bottle, not a brick? Look at her face. I would have thought it was a brick. Same here. Like, gotta be Vos water bottle because no plastic water bottle swelled her face like that. No, because she has a history of lying about these things and is on camera randomly assaulting men. She got what she deserved. To be honest, I personally don't really believe everything I see on the internet. Sometimes I feel like people are doing it just for content. People are doing it for clout. People are doing it just to go viral. Sometimes I see some things I'm like, are you people really like this? Like, this? I second guess it because most of the time people just sit there and plan things and just, okay, what can I do to go viral? What can I do so that people will talk about me? What can I do so that I'll be on the internet? Because even celebrities they do it so that people keep talking about them over and over again so they keep putting out things they keep putting out lies just for people like us <laughs> that you know interested in all this kind of gist to be more interested about them so i would not say i cannot say she's lying or not but <sighs> what happened to her face like i feel like that's my question because <sighs> Do you all, how do you all feel about this story? If you remember this story, let me know down in the comment section. I might link the video in the description box. How do you all feel about this? Do you think it's fair or not? Let me know your thoughts about this down in the comment section. Thank you so much for sticking around to this point. I hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to like, and share, and subscribe. And kindly turn on the post notification bell so you can get notified when I upload an interesting video like this one. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.